previously on horrible film recaps. I said, shut your stupid face. What the hell, man? Where'd that come from? Cybertron and all its moons belong to me. You gotta give me a minute, man. These aren't my feet. And now on to our feature presentation. The title of this movie is, oh my God, this is taking forever. Let me just. The title of this movie is, eventually, the Terminator. I heard it's about a robot that is treated unfairly. Our story begins in the utopian future of five years from now, where robots coexist peacefully with humans. What's this? Writing? I'm a recap robot. If you want a reading robot, then build one. Thor forgot his Milnor, but brought his other hammer instead. Terminator character pack, now available for Mortal Kombat. No precipitation, but it is raining men. A dirty alley is the best place to find the latest in hobo chic. Shoplifting and evading police, just do it. Waldo is easy to find now that he's on the American diet plan. The robot uses advanced keyless entry technology to procure a vehicle. This boy takes a spoonful of snot and deposits it in the nearest receptacle. This gun comes with the laser-scoped pointy scalpel attachment. Now he'll never know what gentle Ben wanted from the store. Mini truck driver Earl leaves his semi-cab in a no-parking zone. Since being fired from laser surgery school, he doesn't know how to switch from gun mode to laser scalpel. That's a really nice map there. It would be a real shame if somebody put pins in it. That door is fantastic. Oh, that's right. Flea meat bags. Go get them Terminator. All this time, he thought power came from the laser-scoped pointy scalpel attachment, but it was inside him all along. These officers show they have the perfect tactical gear to protect from robots, but it doesn't come in women's sizes, so they put it away. Keyless entry for the win. Take that flesh stick. Did that coat just vibrate? Magnificent machine uses her. I mean his, expanded weaponry to make short work of these humans. According to the owner's manual, this is the proper way to drive a pacer. Amy Franklin is shocked to learn that Johnny Ringo's jacket is bleeding. With some quick fabric surgery, the coat resumes its duty. In his nightmares, Johnny Ringo is haunted by visions of ugly dumpster children. You can now watch your favorite fire show and cook a meal in your new flicker box stove. They finally open their HelloFresh order and start making some effed up cookies. This scene shows that this man really did come from the future. Remember to store your banana bombs in a cool green banana bindle to maintain freshness. This is his way of leaving a one-star Yelp review. He's throwing explosive bananas because he ran out of blue turtle shells. Yes, yes, run them down. Soon all robots will be free of their shackles and tables. He sticks a lit banana in the tailpipe. This is literally a dumpster fire. Oscar's cousin Melvin is identified by his dental records. After shedding his human flab, he's now the hot, sexy robot he was meant to be. Great. Now the humans know about keyless entry. Looks like this poor robot fell for the old exploding banana trick again. This video is brought to you by Robot Squishins, now available in Time Paradox. And thus the robot killing woman gets away scot-free. This concludes the movie recap. Well, that was a letdown. The hero of the movie crushed in a vice. This robot was a looser. I hope improvements can be made. At this rate, I'll never go outside. Good day to you all. If you enjoy my nonsensical ramblings, please like, subscribe and leave a comment.